everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all good and enjoying your summer. You join me on a beautiful day here in Cornwall. We have been having a lot of these lovely days recently and I feel like my backdrop at the moment is full on summer vibes. We've got the local farmer across the valley, all his hay is drammed up ready to be baled and it is wafting over an absolute divine smell. I think it's possibly like freshly cut grass and hay making is actually my favourite smell. I wish we could bottle it up because it just, I feel like it just brings back all the summer feelings doesn't it? I love it basically. Anyways, that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is in collaboration with the British Horse Society. Now, you may remember last year, Tina and I participated in their Ride-a-thon 2022. Well, it is back again for another year. This time is a little bit different. It is condensed down into one month, which is July. So it is coming up and I am here to inspire, motivate and encourage you guys to sign up to the Ride-a-thon this year and raise money whilst you're riding. Now, if you enjoy hacking, enjoy bridleways, then this is a fantastic opportunity to be able to raise some money to put back into our hacking around the UK. The money raised will go towards the BHS Ride Out Fund. Now, since establishing in 2015, they have helped fund so many projects all across the UK. They work with local authorities, bridleways associations, landowners to be able to protect, repair, or even create new multi-user routes like I say, from all across the country. With more and more injuries being reported to the BHS of horse and rider incidents happening on the road, it is more vital than ever to try and keep us safe. We know that traffic is getting heavier. Their aim is to try and have as much off-road hacking as possible. Like I say, they even work with landowners to even create new paths to connect like maybe existing ones, reducing the amount that we have to be on the road. The kind of projects that they help fund is making repairs to existing routes. That might be that it needs resurfacing, a fallen tree, they can help improve it by putting in equestrian friendly gates, putting anti-slip grip tape onto bridges. There are so many things that the BHS have been able to help with this ride out fund. You don't even need to have your own horse or pony to be able to track up the miles. You can go to a BHS approved centre and you may already go there for some lessons but why not change that for the month of July into hacking and get tracking up those miles. So yeah I hope you guys get involved. Like I say all sign up details Details, the link any more information that you need will be in the description below but today we are taking you on a ride from here which if you remember back to the videos last year we went off around Cornwall and explored new routes whereas today I kind of wanted to go a little bit down memory lane and I'm going to take you on a route that I haven't been on probably in years. It goes across so much beautiful countryside and I only kind of learned this ride because I used to go off exploring with you Spritey, didn't I? I? Used to put a backpack with a bit of lunch, a drink, carrots for Sprite, and would go off literally for hours and that is how I came across all these paths that we are about to take you on today. We are meeting up with Tina, not quite sure whether she's on Louis or Banksy, but we're going to take you along and like I say for me it's just bringing back quite a lot of memories and I actually think this is yeah I haven't been down there for years so Addy hasn't even been down there either it is quite a long ride I'm not quite sure how many miles it is we'll have to I'll put my tracker on I'll be using the Equilab um, tracker on my watch which connects then to my phone so we'll put that on and see how many miles we cover today but just basically getting a little bit of fitness up before the main challenge obviously starting on the 1st of July but I hope you guys enjoy coming along for a ride with us and I hope that it inspires you guys and encourages you to sign up and get out and enjoy the lovely weather the longer days with your friends maybe have a group of you all sign up together see how many miles you can all track it's just a lovely good challenge positive challenge and also raising such important funding to be able to put back into our hacking into our sport right let's get you out give you a groom and tug you up and let's go and meet Tia <laughs> my pony's going to sleep she'll be much more full of it once I get on I'm sure <laughs>
longer ride and I want it to be memories back to when I was younger. I am putting on a backpack that has got some goodies in it before putting on the all important high vis. I've got some, oh, inside out, <laughs> not a good start. Um, but yes, I have got some snacks in there for the ride, some treats for the ponies, just how I used to do it when I was younger. And we are off on our summer evening ride, which I'm actually really excited for. The backpack is on underneath. Oh, is my thing got a little bit? There we go, pull it down a little bit. Um, and Mum and Millie are coming to join us. So they go for a walk each day. And they also make use of the multi-user access routes and the bridleways near us. Oh, Addy knows that we're going with them. We quite often will join them for the first half of their, their walk, which we are doing today as well, before we meet up with Tina. But I just wanted to say, so to be able to track your miles, I am very fortunate that I, I bought myself as a present last year before doing a half marathon at Eden. I bought myself an Apple Watch, but you don't need to have anything like that. You can just use your phone. So there are apps out there like Equilab, which is what I tend to use on my watch. So it links from my phone to my watch, but you can also use anything like Strava, which I know is very commonly used. And it's just anything that you have got on your phone as an app to track the miles that you cover. And then you pop that all onto the spreadsheet. And there are prizes for the top fundraisers. You can get a subscription to Horse and Country, which little secret that I shall share with you is we are doing some filming with them down here in Cornwall, hopefully next week of routes around here, all obviously in aid of the British Horse Society Ride Out UK Fund and raising awareness again of the Ride-a-thon 2023. But I'm very excited for that. But if you are a top fundraiser, you could have a subscription and you can be watching things that are like going on at the moment. Le Mulin is going on. We've just had Branham, everything like that. Those guys kind of cover. And of course, lots of back to basic masterclasses that you are available to watch on there. So they are the proud sponsor. They were last year and they are again for 2023's ride thon And as I say, the top fundraisers will get a subscription to Horse and Country TV. But right. Let's get a power walk on and let's go and meet Bettina and let's see what pony she's on. So I'm currently about 10 minutes from my home. I have hacked from that direction along that bridleway and I'm at the point where two bridleways meet. So Em's coming up a short bit of quiet country lane here to meet us here. And Banksy is uh, waiting patiently by having a good look in the hedgerows and seeing what he can snack on whilst we wait. So mum's off on one bridal way. Yeah. And we're off, oh, I can't actually get around. There we go. Onto another bridal way. <laughs> it's wow, like I've a crossroads. Bit, so I'm not to give to you. Oh, have you? <laughs> I didn't know mum was here. You so. didn't know mum, no. I'm just <laughs> saying, multi-user access of uh, the different, you're going up and across the, uh, the railway track now, aren't you? Which you do every single day, which is very yeah, impressive. Really. And goes up this massive hill. I was very glad to be on four legs, not two. <laughs> But anyway, my pony's just taken the opportunity to have a good snack. And we're going to lead the way up here. Have fun. I'll see you in a couple of hours because it's quite a long ride. Lisa's not six like when I was a teenager. <laughs> we're all together. We just actually realised that I don't think Banksy and Addy have been out for together for a little while. A very long time. I know. So they did have to have a proper good snog when obviously we first met. Yeah, but no squealies like Sprite would do. No, no front legs coming out. <laughs> Andy was more interested in the snacks, which she's only just finished eating, haven't you? Well, somebody's feeling a bit jealous about that and he keeps looking in the hedge to see if he can get something to copy her. Oh. Well, it's all right, Banks. It's all gone now. He's doing his grumpy, I hate being behind ears. <laughs> well, it's not for long. So this Soon be is... side by side. We can go side by side if you like. <laughs> this is the first bride away that we have ridden on. Oh, You've already ridden on some, which I think you probably have already mentioned, I'm hoping. 
I shared the meeting point. I said that we, yeah. Oh, okay. That we're well, meeting you're... where two bright always meet. And then your mum went off down the way that I came from. Ah, oh, <laughs> down Spritey's favourite canter. Yeah. But yes, oh, you are very goodness. fortunate that you don't have to turn out onto a road. I am fortunate that I have got a back road, so it is quiet. Yeah, but you're you in my come car. out straight away onto a lane that joins up to a bridleway. I do indeed. You turn straight left out of my house and Sorry, you are on. It's basically like five houses driveway. So it's not used by public. No, no. But it used to be. It used to be. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Rob said, you can't go saying it's a bridleway, Tina, because it's a 60 mile an hour limit down that lane. I was like, eh? would anybody drive down that lane? <laughs> yeah. No, back you... in the day, horse and cart, you know. I mean, you could, <laughs> but do you want a car left at the end exactly. of the Exactly. We are very lucky, and lots of people do often comment on our Instagram stories saying how lucky we are to have 100%. so much off-road hacking. Definitely. And we are off to enjoy it today. I said this is a memory of Spitey. Oh, so it's a bit far for her to go it's nowadays. a little bit, yeah. Especially in this warm weather. Exactly. I mean, we have left it until quite late in the evening. To... <laughs> it's five to seven, so yes, we have left it late. <laughs> yeah, but it's nearly the longest day of the year. I know. So we're just embracing as much daylight hours as possible. I know. I said we're in the pinnacle of summer now, aren't we? We are indeed. Yeah. And we're embracing it. I sleeveless. I know, I know. I love it. <laughs> So we have had a very a short moment down across the road and we are now joining the cycle path that connects Cornwall's south coast to the north coast. So you can do the whole, whole ride down, which gets you down from Devon all the way through to Portree, which I have done on horseback before. You've done on your bike and I have done on horseback. Um, we have got a gate to go through here first, so I best put the phone down. Although, oh, Addy's going to show me that we can do it. Can we do it? That's impressive. I'm quite impressed by this one. No, we can't do it. <laughs> Thanks, Atina. We'll just show you how it's actually done. I've lagged you in horse in horse flies. I've lagged you in fly spray, and you're still getting horse flies. <laughs> There, we, there go. we go. And we are now on a lovely path. As you can see, lots of horses have already been on it. Little oh, yeah. Poopy there, little poopy poop. there, little poopy there. Oh, yeah, there is a lot, isn't there? <laughs> this is nice now because you can relax, can't you? When you're off the road, you're safe from cars. Side by side. Exactly. And then just enjoy the summer evenings. I mentioned this to Tina a minute ago, but I don't think I've actually said it on the vlog, but this is the first time Addy has been down on these routes. Aww. So, as I said earlier, it, hacking is such a good experience for young horses, well, old or new, because you get to experience lots of different <laughs> things. You're you old banks. You're not old, you're in your prime. Yeah. Prime, as we keep saying. <laughs> But they get to experience lots of different terrain, get to know where their feet are, and like they're going to in a minute, mm -hmm. Addy's got to go across a bridge. So it's things like this that the BHS Ride Out UK fund helps, makes things like you'll see on this, it's got a grippy path going down the middle, and that is so that it doesn't get slippery. I know what my decking gets like in the winter when it's been raining a lot and it just helps and makes it safe for us equestrians to be able to go over it. So this is the first time Addy has been across this bridge and what a brave pony what she is! What a brave pony, good she job She has got her Uncle Banksy to give her a lead so it's very good but as you can see, like I said, the middle terrain of that bridge is to make it grippy for horses hooves, maybe it's your bike or even on foot as well but making it safe for us to be able to go across. Yeah, and we now we're... enter into very pretty countryside. So we've got a, br a river running alongside us there. Lovely trail, nice surface for us to enjoy. <laughs> a prime example of where there has been an improvement to a ride. Now admittedly I am in front but when I used to come down here on Spritey you used to go down through the river that way because this bridge actually had no sides on it which Addy is now showing that she doesn't want to go over but there was no sides on it so it used to make it dangerous for us to go across it but in the depths of winter like now in summer it wasn't bad at all. 
but in winter it used to be horrible to go down through that it used to be fast flowing it used to be very deep by them putting sides on this bridge it then made it safe for us equestrians to go across it all times of the year <laughs> yeah what i know why you came on this route now <laughs> yeah, I'm going you really are school. reliving your youth i know can i have two hands for this <laughs> no because i'm not so now this is where me and Spritey used to enjoy a very nice jump that was made out of so we are in cornwall where <laughs> mining. Tin mining was obviously a very common ready up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh thanks you ended up having to do it from a stand still because <laughs> he's like i want to go and jump that properly thank you auntie emily okay and I'll be honest, when I was younger, I used to go around loop after loop. It used to be a little bit more of a jump when I used to come down here. Yeah, it's so good to find their cross country. Exactly. Wee. Wee. Good girl. Good boy. Wee. <laughs> Zoomies. <laughs> If you were to ride along this route in the daytime, you've got a lovely cafe that you can stop at. They do yeah. nice brunches there, actually. I have had a nice brunch there, brunch sandwich. They even do veggie sausages. Oh, <laughs> I've had an ice cream there whilst on pony back. <laughs> A few times. On pony back. Yes, which I did say to you, I was like, oh, it'd be nice if we could get an ice cream, but they don't open in the evenings. But <laughs> maybe on a Sunday afternoon, that would be nice. Definitely. But we are on, again, continuing. So there was only a short piece of road to connect the Bizzo Trail up. And then we head on into Cold Ice Valley, which if you've watched some of my vlogs, you probably have seen quite a lot because I like to come down and utilize it for running because I find it really helpful having Nala with me and she can be off the lead for the majority of my run which is always a bonus not having to restrict her. Are you going up or lower? I don't know I haven't been Two along the options, I know it? I haven't been down the lower for a long long time. The lower used to be quite a good canter path but again it's a little bit firm for that at present mm. isn't it? We need a bit of rain like they've had up country because they've had like storms and stuff haven't they? Good girl! Addy is going to be boulder proof by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to inform you, Mr. 16 year old back here. Although he followed Addy quite happily then. Because uh, whenever we go through the Cornwall Farmers Industrial Estate and he sees those boulders, he's like, oh my goodness, I can't walk past them. They're going to eat me. Yeah. <laughs> We probably are over halfway, I'd say, of this ride. But it's time for snacks. I you are about to compare terms. You are more than me at the minute. <laughs> Look at you. Hold on, the background. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, said snacks. And snacks? Oh, Hold snacks. on. I have got snacks for ponies. I've got lots of snacks. I've got more snacks for ponies than I probably have ourselves. Are I you two? No, they're mine. <laughs> oh, you two are having a lovely time. We were just saying that we don't do this often enough. No, we don't. We don't utilise this. And, yeah. I wish, yeah, we've been we in the need saddle to. for 80 minutes so far. We've done four miles. Yeah. And I think we are just over. I do think. Oh, hello. Slide. Are you ready? Oh, oh. oh Bang says, I'm born ready. ready. Born ready for treats. No, the other one's for Addy. <laughs> the one's for Addy. Isn't it? It's not. It's not. For well, Addy. then, because she's not actually bothered by it. So there you go. Okay, right. And then human snacks. <laughs> They're not actually. Oh, I was yeah, going to. I like human snacks too. <laughs> I like all types of snacks. <laughs> oh, and then I have a little scratch. Uh, like <laughs> okay. I was going to bring chocolate, but obviously chocolate is quite warm. It's going to melt. You don't want that. So there's a granola bar. Oh, thanks. And 
my favourite mini cheddars. Oh, bases are like them too. Mm. Mm, they're yummy. There you go. Try one of these. Oats and honey. Okay. Mm, I prefer granola bars. I bet my horse will use it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's now obsessive on Auntie Emily's backpack. <laughs> Seems like I'm going to bite your bum. <laughs> very lucky there is lots of connecting bridleways coming out of the valley but this one here we've just come up this path but this one here has got an equestrian friendly i'll say gate so that we are able to do it whilst we are on board so if we had chosen to come up a little bit earlier in the valley we would have come up through here to this gate and this is exactly a prime example again of what the bhs ride out fund helps to create on different bridleways for allowing us to be able to ride down them safely without having to get on and off it is much more accessible for us equestrians and also keeps the farm owners animals safe in there by making sure the gates Shop yes there, very it? true that'll be a swing back one, that'll be a swing back one. yeah definitely like it farmland. says farmland sure yeah <laughs> please sorry, close gate. <laughs> right, very good eyes good eyesight never i never used to do that when i was younger <laughs> We've been out for 108 minutes. <laughs> Almost five miles now, though. So again, we have only had to have a short bit of road work, hence the reason I've now got the filming back out to speak to you guys. But we've only had to go shortly along a road before meeting up with another bride away. And that is, again, another fantastic thing with the bhs ride out uk they are always looking to not only improve routes but also create them they work with local landowners local bridleways association to see how they can connect different bridleways and not have us equestrians or cyclists walkers runners on busy dangerous roads they're looking to connect them as closely as they can to keep us off of the high traffic roads basically we are fortunate around here that the roads that we've just had to ride on are rather quiet they are back lanes but i know various places across oh, i feel like somebody's about to go off for a canter whilst i'm filming <laughs> um <laughs> they don't have the access like we do they do have busy roads that they've got to go out and cross and we like i say we're very fortunate but that is something that they try and help with we're off you get the point oh. but it's okay my pony didn't back me off it's fine but I think you guys understand what I'm saying. So they work on various many things and you can look on the BHS website to see just how they have helped certain projects. Now, since launching in 2015, they have raised over 75,000 pounds and that has gone towards over 65 different projects across the UK. So you never know, there could be a local bridleway near you that needs resurfacing, a new gate in place, maybe a tree's fallen down, anything. And that money could be going towards that. So get out, have fun with your ponies or on your bike, but with your friends and sign up exactly sign up for a cause that is putting money back into our sport because not everybody i know is out there competing and everything like that they actually just have a horse and they love going out hacking around their local countryside i'm not gonna lie i've massively enjoyed hacking since, since i don't know if it's just put it into perspective since bags had a few weeks out of work this year yeah yeah Quarter to nine in the evening. Exactly. And we're lovely and warm. We're having fun with our ponies. And like you say, we're on bridleways, so we're nice and safe. We don't actually have to worry about the fact it is getting slightly dimmer 
because we don't actually have any roads to get on to get home. Exactly. And we are very fortunate. We are fortunate for our bridalways, 100%. Um, and very fortunate that we have got a camp path coming up. Which is exactly why you chose to film your vlog from home. From home, exactly. And I just loved going back through like memories of certain things that I used to do with Sprite. The field that we're allowed to count around is open, Emily. Is it? When it's been cut, you're welcome to use it. Her <laughs> face. I mean, I'm keen. <laughs> My pony would be keen. Oh, I love my pony. She's not like strong or silly or... We've only mainly walked. The ride is sadly coming to an end. We have just got one final canter before we depart from each other. We are very fortunate again that we live about a 20, 25 minute hack from each other. I always say it's like 10 minutes each to meet in the middle, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. So 20 minutes, I was, yeah, about right. Um, just depending quite where we meet. <laughs> There's a drain bit I there. I <laughs> Yes. Um, but yes, we got one last canter together before we go our separate ways. Oh, has he got a snack? Oh, they are very happy ears, Addy. Are we ready? Ready, and we're off. Addy's key, not me. Oh, it's nice to find a bit of softer ground, though. It is. Don't get me off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're departing here. <laughs> You've missed your turning bags. <laughs> Sorry. It was lovely. I did say that. I was like, oh, it's nice to find a bit of softer ground. Yeah, very true. Right, you're off. We're going this way. Nice hack. I'm the lucky one that gets to hack home towards the sunset. Whereas Em and Addy have to go in the opposite direction, don't they, Banks? And they go away from the sunset. Very, very beautiful. A fabulous way to end a lovely ride. And we are now home. What a wonderful, fun evening that was. I stopped my watch a little moment ago and saw that we had clocked up just over eight miles. Eight miles of beautiful bridleways and countryside. So I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us today. Obviously, top priority, like literally, I haven't even taken my backpack off or my hat or anything, but was to sort Addie out because that was her longest ride that she has ever done. And oh my goodness. I think I'm safe to say that Addy and Bangs both thoroughly enjoyed themselves, as did Tina and I, as I hope that you guys, like I say, has as well. But I gave her a wash off. Oh, she's going down and having a roll now. And this is what I love as well, is that it is still light out there, guys. And it is gone half past nine <laughs> but it's still light and also we've avoided the heat this is why we went later on because it, we have been having quite hot temperatures at the moment so it's much cooler for the horses but this is the beauty of this time of year and I mean I've been able to wash her off put her straight out as well so there's no excuses Get yourself signed up to the BHS Ride-a-thon 2023 and raise money towards the Ride Out UK fund Putting it back, as I've said, I've mentioned so much about it, but if you have got any further questions, DM me, send me a message, comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. But I will pop in the description as well all the useful links that you guys need to know. They work with a lot of bridalway associations all around the UK to improve, repair, resurface, add in new features, create new routes. There is so much that the money goes towards and I have shared all the facts about it throughout this vlog. So do get yourself signed up for the Ride-a-thon. Get 
clocking up those miles. Have fun with your pony. Have fun with friends like we have this evening. There will be another vlog coming out soon on Tina's channel where we will be venturing out somewhere in Cornwall. We did that last year and we had so much fun and I love exploring, but I only found those loops that we did today, that route that we did and the different paths by going out and exploring with Sprite when I was younger. So it really has just brought back so many wonderful memories from my teenage years, I suppose. I was going to say childhood, but no, more like my teenage years. And it's been wonderful to be able to share it with you guys. So as I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Please do like, comment, and of course, hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. And please do sign up if you are able to, to the ride thon and get clocking up those miles tag me in any posts on your social media of you getting out i love to see through the year shots and to see you out enjoying your pony the sunshine the countryside any of it i love seeing it so yeah do tag me and i will try and share as many as i possibly can that is over and out for me this evening thank you as always for all your support and i will see you all very very soon bye